Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you five ways to add images and videos to your screen mockups with Divi. So these are the final designs we're aiming for in this tutorial. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you how to create these. So the first thing we're going to do is to prepare our laptop image in Photoshop. And uh, what we've done ahead of time here is we've um, compiled this Photoshop file. So all you have to do is to go ahead and download this Photoshop uh, mockup. So uh, this could be found on a link that I linked in the show notes below. This is a link to the blog post. So download this and then open it up in Photoshop. Once downloaded, this is the folder that you get in your downloads folder. So if you open it, these are the files that you get in this folder. So the folder that you want to open is this one called mbpurefront.psd. Okay, so this is what you see when you open up the uh, PSD file. So what we're gonna do here straight away is to come over here to this device uh, folder and merge the group. So what you wanna do is to right click and then click on merge group. So what you want to do next is to control click on the third layer. Now, by controlling and pressing click, you are now selecting the part of the screen which we need to be transparent. So I'm going to press control and click. So now you can see that uh, this area here has been highlighted. And then next, we need to come over here to the second layer and then click this layer mask like that. So now with the layer mask selected, this is the, image, the part of the image that is now left on the screen. Next, we need to invert this selection by pressing Command I, like that. If you're on a PC, it's Control I. Next, we're going to again Control click on uh, this uh, third layer. And then now you can see that my selection has been um, selected. Next, we're going to click on the background layer and mask it, like that. So now we, uh, now we have just the laptop showing and we have this transparent background here but we're not done yet because the next step we're going to do now is to inverse this selection so again i'm going to click on command i so now we have part of the screen uh, transparent so that means that uh, when we take this image into uh, divi we can have an image showing through this transparent uh, window and then all we have to do next is to crop the image and just make sure that we have the uh, the size that we need to then export to Divi. So I'm gonna come over here and press the crop tool. And then I'm just gonna pull, pull the sides here as close as I can to my image, like that. Okay, and then I'm also gonna do the bottom here. So just make sure that you're not cutting uh, the, the image itself. Okay, so with all that set, I'm just gonna press enter. Okay, so finally, all I have to do now is to save my image. Okay, so here in this dialog box, you have to make sure that when you're saving this image, you need to save it as a PNG because we need that transparent uh, part of uh, this image to show because this is what's gonna make our design work in Divi. Okay, so now that I've uh, selected PNG, all I have to do now is to click on save and then you can save this anywhere on your computer. So I'm gonna save mine to the downloads folder and then I'm just gonna go ahead and click save. So I'm here now in my WordPress admin dashboard. So what I'm gonna do is to create a brand new page in order for us to create all these designs. So I'm gonna come over here, click on add new. So I'm just gonna call my page uh, design, but of course you can call this page whatever you want. I'm gonna click on use the Divi Builder and then I'm gonna go straight to the Visual Builder all our designs just going to include a one row and one column only. Okay, so now that I have my builder uh, loaded, I'm gonna come over here and add my columns. So I'm gonna click this plus button here, add a single column, and then I'm just gonna close this for now. Next, I'm gonna come over here to my row settings and add our background color. So I'm gonna come over here to background and I'm gonna add white to my background like that. Next, I'm gonna add my padding. So I'm just gonna search for it here. And then here on the top, I'm going to add zero pixels. And then on the right, I'm going to add 200, zero to the bottom, and 200 to the left, like that. And then I'm also going to add my uh, mobile. So I'm going to click this uh, icon here, click on tablet. So I'm going to change my sizes for the tablet here. So um, we're going to make it 20 here for the tablet. 
20 to the left. And then for the smartphone, it's gonna be 10 and 10 to the left. Okay, so that's all we need to do here for the padding. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and save. And then I'm gonna come over here and add my image module and upload my image. So I'm gonna click this plus button here, search for my image module. And then I'm gonna add my image. So I'm gonna come over here, click upload. Now I have my image already here in my media library. So all I have to do is to go and select it. But in your case, because you've saved it on your computer, you have to uh, navigate to the folder or to the place where you saved this image and then upload it to your media library. So I'm gonna select it, click on upload an image. So now I have my image now on the screen. So next we need to add our background image. So I'm gonna come over here to background, click the third tab. And then I'm gonna click this plus button here to add my image. And the image I'm gonna use is this one right here. Click upload an image. Okay, so now that we've added our image, you can now see that our image is now showing in that area. Now this is mainly because we exported our image in Photoshop as a transparent uh, space. So everything that we add here will be shown on this laptop as if this was the actual uh, laptop showing. So the next thing we're gonna do here is to just add a gradient. So I'm gonna come over here and uh, we're going to add our two colors for our gradient. So I'm gonna start off by clicking this plus button here and then uh, on my first color, I'm just gonna paste the value of my first color. Now, if you want to use the exact uh, same colors, you can uh, go to the post, which I'll link to in the show notes below and use these exact, uh, exact colors. Okay, so I'm gonna click the second um, uh, color here and then paste it right here like that Okay, so now that we have both our colors I'm just going to change my gradient direction to 180 in fact It's 180 by default, which is good and uh, here on the start position. I'm going to uh, set this to 19% and Then on uh, the end position. I'm going to set this to 61% now for this gradient to uh, work on our image, what you need to do is to change the blending mode here to multiply. So click the third tab where we have this image and then on the background image blend, you just have to select multiply. And then now you can see that our blend has now worked and that's looking really beautiful. Now, if you wanna go and uh, do further customizations, you can use our latest feature, uh, which is uh, image uh, filters. So you can come over here to the design tab, click on filters, and you can play around with these and also further change how your image may look. But this is an option that you can go for if you want to. Okay, now let's go and uh, do the second example. So I'm just gonna go ahead and save. In our second example, I'm going to be showing you how to add a parallax background image. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just gonna add my new section over here. So it's gonna be a regular section, single column. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to close this for now. So the first thing we're gonna do is to start off by adding a gradient background. So I'm gonna come over here to my row settings, click on background, and then I'm gonna click the second tab, click the plus button, and then I'm gonna add my first color here for my gradient. Like that. Add my second color. And then making sure that our gradient direction is set to, uh, gradient type is set to linear. And our direction is set to 180. Now column start position needs to be set at zero. And then here the end position needs to be set at 50%. So the second thing we're gonna do is to uh, add our mockup. So I'm gonna save this for now come over here, add our image module, and then I'm gonna add my image by clicking upload, select my image right here, click on upload an image. So now I have my image mockup. So the next thing we're gonna do now is to add, uh, next we're going to add our image. So I'm gonna click this background sub category, click the third tab, and then we're gonna make sure that use parallax effect is set to yes, and I'm gonna add my image. So the image I'm gonna add here is the image of these mountains. So I'm gonna select this, this one right here, click upload an image. So now we can see that our image is now showing. So here for the parallax method, we're gonna set this to CSS. So finally, we're gonna come over here to the design tab and add a blend mode. So I'm gonna come over here to my filters. All the way down here, I'm gonna set this to hard light, like that. 
Okay, so that's all we need to do. I'm gonna go ahead now and save, and then it's time to do our second, our third example. So you can see here when I move my, um, when I scroll on my page, the parallax effect is working. Okay, so let's go ahead and add a new section. So I'm gonna click this plus button here, click on regular, and we're gonna have a single column. So in this example, we're going to be adding a video instead of an image to our mockup. So I'm gonna come over here, click this plus button, add my image. Then I'm just gonna select it right here, click upload an image. Okay, so next we're going to add our video. So come over here to this submenu background, click the fourth tab, and then we're going to add our video. So I'm gonna click on this plus button here, and then I'm gonna click select to, uh, to find where my video is. And then I'm gonna come over here to my downloads folder. And then I'm gonna click my video. Okay, so now that I have my video in my library, all I have to do is to click on upload video. And now we can see that the video is now here and it's already playing on my screen. So this is how you can add a video onto your mockup. So in our fourth example, we are going to be combining our video and also an image background. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna come over here and save, and then I'm gonna add a new section, single row, and we're going to add our image. I'm gonna select image, click upload, and we're gonna upload our mockup image, like that. So for now, I'm gonna save, because what we need to do is to add our image to column one. So I'm gonna click on my row settings, click on background, and then we're going to add our image on background column one. So we're going to click the third tab, click the plus button here to select our image. And I'm going to select my image here, upload an image. So all these settings here are fine. Just make sure that your background image size is set to cover, the background image position is centered, and also the column background repeat is set to repeat, and the blend is normal. So for now, we can go ahead and save. Now we need to go back into our image settings, and then click on background, and now it's time to add our video. So I'm gonna come over here to this far right, click on my fourth tab, and then I'm gonna click this plus button here to add our video. So I'm gonna select it because that's the video that we used in the previous example. Click upload video. Okay, so now that it's uploading, you can see that it's playing, but now we need to do a few adjustments. So uh, these, uh, the background image and the video works well together. And to do that, we need to come over here to design, click on filters, and then over here on the blend mode, we need to set this to lighten like that, and now we can see that uh, our image is now showing in the background as well as the video. So now we can just go ahead and save. Now it's time to do our fifth example. So I'm gonna come over here, click this plus button, click on regular, single row. So first we're going to add our image background, so I'm gonna come over here to my row settings, click on background. So the image we're going to add, we're going to add it to the column one background. So I'm gonna click this third tab, click the plus button to add our image. I'm going to go ahead and select my image, click upload an image. Next, we need to make this row full width. So I'm gonna just come over here and uh, just type full. So here we can make it full width by clicking this option here. And then we're also going to need some gutter width. So I'm gonna come over here and uh, search for gutter. And then here it comes, and then I'm gonna click yes, and then we're gonna set this to zero. So now our image is going to be edge to edge. So next we need to come over here to design, click on spacing. So the first thing we're going to do here is to add um, padding of zero throughout, like that. And then for our column padding, we're going to add 70 to the top, and then 300 to the right, 70 to the bottom, and finally 300 to the right. So now that we have all that in place, I'm just gonna save this, and then now it's time to add our image module. So I'm gonna click this plus button here. I'm gonna select, search for my image module, select it, and then I'm gonna come over here to upload, and then we're going to upload our mockup image, like that. Click on upload an image. Okay. Next, we're gonna come over here to the background and add our video. So I'm gonna click this plus button here, select my video, 
click upload a video. So now I have a video here in the background. Okay. So we can see here that we have this white here and this doesn't look really nice. So the final step is to add our blend mode, which get rid of that white. So to do that, we're going to come over here to design, click on filters. And then over here on our blend mode, we need to set this to multiply like that. And now you can see the white has disappeared. And now we have this beautiful design with our background image showing. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new videos. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.